Hey what's up guys, today we're learning how to use inputs from controllers so you can use them in your Unity game. So it's really easy, the first thing you need is a reference to uh, which controller you're going to be using. Um, it's a reference that you need with buttons on top of it and numbers. Basically I'll just show you mine, that's a little bit simpler. So I'm using the Xbox 360 controller with the wireless receiver for Windows and this is the image that I managed to fetch simply by writing um, Xbox 360 controller with Unity input in Google. So this is my image and it is also what I'll need to um, to assign my buttons. So without further ado, let's get started. I will go ahead and hit edit, project settings, and then input in there I will well first off when you first open this you're gonna have a lot of inputs in there so you're gonna have like all the unity default inputs such as vertical horizontal fire jump um, I don't use any of those so I went ahead and I cleared the list first in order to clear the list you can simply put the size at zero and then resize it um, by whichever number you want uh, for this example I'm going to be doing the four buttons here and also the two joysticks and each joystick has two axes so I will put a size of 8. Okay so um, I will start by naming those so the first one is going to be the A button, second one is going to be the B button, third one is the X button and this one is going to be the Y button good so once we have those four I'm going to do the axis next so the first element in the axis is going to be the left joystick horizontal you can have any name so if that one is too long for you you can simply change it for something uh, smaller so left joystick vertical and then I'm going to do the right joystick so right joystick horizontal and right joystick vertical okay so this looks about right now we need to assign those to uh, buttons input in order to do that I will start by opening the A button and in there you can see we have a descriptive name uh, for the positive and negative button but all we want in this is really just the positive button field and in there I will write joystick I will write joystick button 0 because 0 is what I uh, my A is assigned to and make sure you write it properly like this way else if you make just one tiny mistakes it is not going to recognize it and it's simply going to wipe the field so joystick button 0 for A and then for B it is the joystick button 1 X is joystick button 2 and finally Y is joystick button 3. Okay, now that we have all that, we can go ahead and do the axes. The axes are a little bit different, so we're not going to be using the positive button, we are going to be using the axes. So if you come down here, you have type, you change the type for joystick axes, and then you put the right one in there. So right now I'm using, um, actually I'm assigning the left joystick horizontal to the x-axis which is right because if you check the picture out this is my left joystick and you can see the the x-axis is the horizontal one now left joystick vertical I change the type and then it is going to be the y-axis now if we go to the right joystick change the type to joystick axis and what I need is the horizontal of these so it is going the is going to be the fourth axis for this joystick now I change the vertical one, so type, just the axis, and it's the fifth one. Also, for the axis, you need to put a sensitivity. I'm going to put mine to one, oh, one, in every single of those fields. And this, this is pretty much it, guys. So this is really simple to do. I'm actually going to show you what it looks like in-game. So I went ahead and I created a small script here to test this out. 
and uh, if we are using a button, so if it's the A, B, X, or Y button, we're simply going to enable or disable the renderer, so the object is going to pop on the screen. Else, if it is the left joystick, we are going to be uh, moving a ball on the screen, same thing for the right one. So I'll go ahead and show you how it looks like in-game. Oh, and I have a little issue here. I forget to set up my buttons, so I'll go ahead and say this is the A button. This has to match the name of my um, axis name or input name. X button and then Y button. Okay, let's hit play again. And now if I press on A, it works. If I press Y, X, and then B. I can press on multiple buttons at the same time. And now as for the axis, let's say I move the left joystick and the right one. And this is pretty much all we need to start creating some, um, I don't know, games, I guess. You can move your characters with that. I use it in my uh, third person character controller and it is way better to actually have a joystick when you want to make a 3D game. So um, that, that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.